What's in the box? Well, let's find out. So guys, let's see what's in this thing. I already know what's in it, but I haven't actually seen it yet. Oh, <laughs> there was a chance I would get this thing right. I did not. All right. I was hoping it would be just like this when I unboxed it or took the wrapper off, but uh, anyway, TRX-6. Let's open this thing up further. Still has the seal on it. It's been a while since I had a brand new truck. Standard issue. <laughs> All right, got some paperwork in there. There it is. Nice big silver one. As awesome as this thing is, they could have done something better with the body. But wow, what a giant monster. Jeez. All right, let's look a little closer without me in it. This is actually my first time really digging into this truck. And it's actually pretty darn neat. Like the rear diff locks right there. It's got like a little uh, dual thing on it. Now, I got this through Jack's RC Recycle and Repair, Sean Larman. And he got it from RC Addicts. Let's see if I can get that to show. Um, there you go. RC Addict or RC Addict. Anyway, it's actually pretty darn neat, and it has a light kit, so I didn't expect that. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty neat. Now, let me see, what else? Standard issue ESC, standard issue motor. What I'm going to do to this truck, um, there will be no warranty. Now, the tires are different, so they feel a little bit stiffer than what the original tires are. The canyons. These don't actually have a name other than Traxxas. Hmm. That's pretty cool, actually. Like how the rear drive shaft right out of that one into that one. Now, what would be cool, and it appears it's an actual special housing. Maybe it is just a diff cover. But what would be cool would be to do this up front and have two steering axles up front. That would be awesome, like an eight by eight. And then you could get you one of the big Tatra bodies or something to put on it. Well, anyway, if you're interested in these trucks, you probably already know all this stuff. So, but I mean, it's got like exhaust under it. It's got these plates which really look like metal, but they're not. Anyway, we're gonna take this thing out and see what it's got. All right, we're gonna start out with a 2S speed run in first gear. That is really slow. However, let's see what we've got here. Let's zip this thing around. We have 3.4 miles per hour. Let's try some second gear. That is equally slow, especially for second gear. Looks pretty cool though. And we have 5.8 miles per hour. Now it's time for some 3S. 3S first gear. Not bad. Let's see, we have 4.5 miles per hour. Now it's time for second gear. All right, that's moving along pretty good. I like that. It's cool watching those back tires move differently. We are at 
8.6 miles per hour. All right, now the rest of this video is gonna be on the rocks messing around and it's gonna be on 3S. Let's go ahead and crawl up this. I think there's a crow over there laughing at me. <laughs> Back in, just hanging out in the wind, not doing a darn thing. <laughs> this is a pretty neat truck. I had no intentions on getting one until I... Oh, I'm going to need a new steering servo already. That's one thing I wish Traxxas would go ahead and do. Just go ahead and put in the, you know, one of the nice servos that they've got, like the blue one. That's actually a really nice servo. Just go ahead and start putting it in these things. So what if it adds $20 to the price tag? So yeah, that would be a nice thing. But yeah, Axe 2700 is going in this for sure. Um, I've been talking about doing the whole rollback thing. So that's still on my mind. Now that I've got the truck in hand, I can, you know, work on the plans that actually make that happen. So yeah. Now this spot right here is really nasty. So I'm, um, I don't know, let, let me see. Maybe I can go across it, go a different route over here. Ah. Uh. It's not like me to actually try to save a vehicle body this much, but let's see if I can somehow manage to not get too much damage here. Trying to get that front climb. It did. Ugh. Made it through without much. It may have got a scratch. Yeah. Pretty neat truck, though. I know the body's already, the underneath is already scratched. It's making short work of this course, though. I mean, in box stock, I've only stalled the servo a few times. So that's not too bad. But yeah, new servo for sure. Not sure what just yet, but I'm sure I'll figure something out. Oh, how will this do on the pipes? This could get interesting. These pipes can stop vehicles. Ow. Oh, oh man. That was not what I wanted. Kind of reminds me of that capper video with those nice carbon panels. All right, it is fixed. <laughs> it actually took it better than I thought. All right, now this I probably really should not be trying, but you know, why not? I've already got a scratch. I've already flipped it over. Interesting. I did move this big rock. It's been moved for a few days now. I gotta say, as far as crawlability goes, it's way more impressive than I thought. But then again, the one I saw at my property the other day that you guys got the little video clip on, that was impressive. Now I'm really close to the overhang. Come on, settle down, settle down, settle down. Ah, there we go. Get that over a little bit further. Yeah, I'm stalling the heck out of that steering servo now. 
Like I say, like I already oh, stalled out there. Come on, baby. turn, turn. Wow, all right, I may be in a bad spot here. Lean it, lean it, there we go. You know, with these models that we've, that we've been getting the last, you know, year or so from different companies, you know, they're really stepping it up. And I'm talking about Traxxas, Axial, all of them. You know, they're really stepping it up on the vehicle details. And they're also managing to make the vehicles wilder. So not only are the vehicle body details you know, really getting better, you're also getting more capability. Now, portal axles, you know, you can argue their scale, they're not scale, you know, all that. But, you know, the seven to one ratio that most of them have, I think the Red Cat is about six to one or something like that, 6.18. Uh, really? Not the way I wanted to drive this truck. There we go. Now, back to the topic. They're really getting good. The uh, portal axles. Oh, I hope I don't roll it here. For the most part, are not scale. I mean, you never saw a portal axle come with a... With a... Uh, I'm actually hung on the exhaust pipe. On that rock right here. There we go. Yeah, this is not, I should not have tried this one. But anyway, you never saw the portal axles come on the uh, Ford Bronco or the Chevrolet or the TRX4 Sport, which is kind of like a Ford Ranger-ish looking thing. But they're still pretty neat. Seven to one axle ratio really helps with port twist and all that stuff, so can't complain about that. Mm. Ah, that was cool. it was a dirt landing impressive this thing with some sand paddles and 3800 kV on 6s would be awesome there's only one guy I know that would actually do that <laughs> Kevin oh that was a good landing I like that one First run's done, and yeah, it'll all air hose out, right? It'll buff out, no problem. You know, when these things first came out, I was like, okay, that's interesting, but I'm not gonna spend the money on it. Not gonna happen, no way. And then a guy brought a truck like this, the black version, which was on a previous video, out to the Exoplex, and I was really impressed. Now. This thing, um, in this video, I was really trying to take it easy. I got to drive it again and uh, got to drive it a little bit more on some more difficult stuff. Maybe you'll see that in a different video because I didn't record this one. So maybe I'll go back and get some recording of the more difficult lines. And this thing is really, really surprising. I mean, really surprising. But I do still have the plans, because if you guys have been listening to me talk, especially when I've been talking about the 66 Chevy or this right here, um, which I got to get you guys part through on the Chevy. Um, I still got a lot of work to do on that thing. But still looking at doing some body work and all that. I'm, I'm considering, this is what's the game plan. 
uh, Tamiya hard body F350 cab and then have the uh, rollback style bed back here somehow, some way, and have it all be functional from the radio. I'm not sure if it'll all be functional one handed, but that's a lot to get in there. But anyway, guys, hopefully you liked the video, and there are links in the description below for this and other things. So, guys, thank you all for watching.